Welcome back, everybody. It's a big day for crypto as we expect Bitcoin to be having a halving. Uh, the supply of new Bitcoin is expected to be cut in half sometime tonight. And while it might be good news for its price, it could be bad news for the miners and other institutions keeping the currency managed. Joining us now to explain all this is Meltem Demirors, advisor and former chief strategy officer at CoinShares. Meltem, welcome. Good to have you with us. In simple terms, what is going on here? What is happening? Sure. The halving is a very descriptive term. Um, the Bitcoin network uses a proof of work algorithm, which means that miners use energy and computation through these special chips called ASICs to validate blocks. Uh, they put transactions that are submitted into the network uh, to these into these blocks. And uh, people who submit transactions pay fees. Now, as a reward for doing this work, miners compete to earn the Bitcoin block reward. It started out at 50 Bitcoin per block, and then it has halved ever since then. So we went down to 25, 12.5, uh, 6.5, and now 6.25, and now we're going down even more. So um, basically what me that means is there's less inflation, less new Bitcoin mined. And what that means for miners who currently are getting 80 to 90 percent of their revenue from that block reward and not from those transaction fees, it means their revenue potentially is going down. Their revenue would go down because they're still going and their pro I guess their profitability because they're going to still have to invest a set amount of uh, capital, uh, let's put it, uh, to, to, to extract half as many Bitcoin or half as much block, right? Absolutely. But the other component here, right? so miners have fixed costs in the sense that they have chips that they buy, they have data centers that, that they operate. And what's really fascinating, the Bitcoin network has a $100 billion dedicated hardware and data center economy, over 20 publicly listed Bitcoin miners that command an aggregate market cap of about $20 billion. So this is a pretty big data center economy that's been built around Bitcoin. But what miners can do is they can use lower uh, cost sources of power. So we see a lot of miners switching their facilities on or off, particularly in places like Texas, to take advantage of uh, periods of very low pricing on the grid. So and the other thing we see is new models emerging for how Bitcoin is creating more transaction fees through ordinals, which are NFTs on Bitcoin, through new tokens on Bitcoin, and all sorts of other innovation. Well, I, I understood about a third of what you were we're talking about there, but, but I'll take that. I'll take that. But, but let's cut to what I suspect an awful lot of viewers might be most interested in. This is not the first time there has been a halving. Uh, far from it. It's happened several times before. But what, what has happened historically to the price of Bitcoin post a halving? Absolutely. So the reason Bitcoiners like halvings is these four-year cycles give us great data. And over the last three halving cycles we've had, we've seen similar patterns in terms of how Bitcoin's price reacts. Now, I love talking about flows. Uh, Bitcoin's price is largely driven by inflows and outflows. So what we've seen since the start of the year with the launch of the nine new Bitcoin ETFs is over $10 billion of net inflows into Bitcoin just from the ETFs. Uh, over the last four weeks or so, we've seen some net outflows, particularly as Bitcoin's price has hovered in the 60 to 65K range. What's unique about this having, though, typically we would see a new all-time high for Bitcoin nine to 12 months after having. This cycle, we saw Bitcoin hit an all-time high before the halving. So we saw a new all-time high for Bitcoin posted in March. That's pretty unusual. We also have these ETFs that are fundamentally changing the nature of flows into and out of Bitcoin. So I think all bets are off this halving. I'm expecting we'll reach new all-time highs before the end of the year. But again, this cycle is looking a little bit different than the last three we've seen. All right. Thank you very much, Melton. We appreciate your uh, explanations there. You helped me a lot.